hobbies, the money sinks of our wallets, the things we do to relax and unwind after a stressful day, the object of our attention that takes up an entire room, and also sometimes paycheck. I'm oh, sorry, what? The things will probably be buried with. Bitch, it's my sh I'm taking it with me to the grave. Find out more on today's latest installment of Did You Know Being Poor Is A Choice? Hello everyone, it's me, Reverend Slash Handy, destroyer of wallets, make every terrible financial decisions, back with another video about my other wallet burning hobbies that aren't Warhammer. Okay, only one of them is wallet burning, but that's besides the point. So today I figured since I often talk about my other hobbies during my streams, which you should totally watch, I guess it's time to finally talk about those other hobbies besides Warhammer in a video, cause not many people show up to my streams. If you are one of those people that do show up, you know who you are and you are an absolute giga chad. But these hobbies are model trains, battle tech, collecting challenge coins, and I'm briefly gonna gloss over this, which is why it's last, but I like guns that I unfortunately lost in a tragic boating accident. So I guess let's start with money sink number two, or I should say one, because my god, model trains are really expensive. But for trains, I have quite a lot of old footage from my old model railroad club before I moved, so I'll be putting that in the background along with other footage of trains that I have. I collect three scales of trains, N scale, HON3 scale, and O scale, with two of those scales being on the completely opposite ends of the scale spectrum. Literally. I do also have a few HO scale locomotives, but I'll talk more about train scales in an eventual video dedicated to just trains, because there's a lot to talk about. If you want to see that video, you should totally subscribe, and also hit that like button because it really helps the channel. But in model trains, there's two conundrums everyone always encounters besides the obvious increasing cost. If you thought Warhammer was bad, uh, go look up how much an O scale locomotive costs more specifically a steam engine, but this conundrum is space and scenery. How big of a space you have directly influences what scale of trains you choose and how much scenery you can have, because the amount of space you have directly correlates to how much track and scenery you can have, and I have none of those. And this was the reason I was a part of Model Railroad Club, so I get to run my trains on a very large layout, well, my end scale stuff. For O scale, you need a lot of space, like a lot of space because Jesus Christ is it huge. And yes, I know a lot of you are thinking of it, and that's what she said. Different scales of model trains also have different advantages and disadvantages. For O scale, they usually have really good sounds, smoke, detail, and ease of maintenance, you know, because they're huge. Which means it's gonna be expensive, but these trains can get really heavy, especially for me, because you know, uh, muscular dystrophy and handicapped literally in the title of my channel, or a play on words with the title of my channel. While N scale and HO scale have good detail, decent prices that are almost as expensive as some Warhammer kits, they rarely have pre-installed sound unless it's BLI, no smoke, kinda, unless you short circuit something, and some can be hard to maintain because they are really small, with an emphasis on small. But you can fit a lot more into a space the same size as an O scale layout, which is why N scale and HO scale are the two most popular scales in the world. Now, I'm gonna gloss over it, but there are more scales in between O and N scale and one right above O scale, which is garden scale or G scale, but the in-between scales are O gauge, ON3, S scale, SN3, HO scale, and HON3. And yes, there are also scales smaller than N scale. Also, the scale with an N attached to it represents narrow gauge because there are standard gauge railroads and narrow gauge railroads. Again, I will get to that in an eventual video dedicated to model trains. And yes, Euro Bros, I know about double O scale, which is just European HO scale, but let's just leave G scale and Z scale for another video. My favorite type of locomotives are of course steam engines, more specifically the large articulated locomotives, and the narrow gauge locomotives with a Denver and Rio Grande. Along with having passenger trains because you can get a decently long train with fewer pieces of rolling stock as opposed to a freight train, while also being significantly cheaper, unless of course it's O scale. But if you want to see more model train stuff, let me know down in the comments below because I do have a few model train videos planned. Also, I know I didn't mention this at the start of the video, but I do also have a lot of Legos, both the traditional Lego and a huge assortment of Bionicles, but those are in storage right now because I only have the space to either display Warhammer or Legos and I chose Warhammer. Plus, I don't want to go digging through the storage bins in my closet. And the trains don't count because those are on a display shelf bolted into the wall. My next hobby that isn't Warhammer is Battletech. If you want to see more about my Battletech collection, check out these videos because honestly, nothing has changed at all. What? Okay, got me. Nothing has changed at all yet. 
Besides the three Battle Force boxes I got last year and also backing the Kickstarter, which I will do an unboxing video for when I eventually get it, supposedly in the summer. But yeah, Battletech has been a part of my life before Warhammer, but not before Trains, obviously. But I did go over my love of Battletech a bit more in this video right here, or, or maybe it was this video. I don't remember. But uh, if you, if you want to find out, you can uh, check out the Battletech videos on my channel. Anyways, my next hobby was mostly influenced by my dad, which is collecting challenge coins, and I can't really show a lot of them or else I might dox myself because I have some really rare ones you can only get if you know someone. So here are some of my generic Marine Corps challenge coins, along with a few other branches of the military ones that I have. Uh, yes, I, I'm a part of a military family. Like I said, I mainly got into collecting them because my dad also collects them because when I was younger, I thought they were cool, but I have a lot of them and I also need to find the space to put them on display now. As you can tell, there is a pattern emerging where I don't have enough space for anything, and so I have to choose between what I want to display. And so far, Warhammer and Trains is always gonna win. Okay, this is the last time I'm gonna mention my streams. Are you sure about that? But if you do watch them, I am unapologetically American. F yeah. And I mentioned the good old American pastime of firearms at the start of this video. But because YouTube doesn't like firearms, I'm not going to show them at all. But I like guns. And I do also like the function and history of them. And I unfortunately lost all my guns in a tragic boating accident many months ago. And also, I would like to say that I have autism. And also, just so I can cover my bases and I don't get canceled, I do have Asperger's, otherwise known as high-functioning autism. And that's all the hobbies I have besides Warhammer. But wait, there's one more. And I'm pretty sure you already guessed it. That other hobby is content creation. Doing what I do on YouTube and Twitch is another hobby since it helps me get off my ass and actually paint my Warhammer stuff. Because before I started YouTube and Twitch, nothing ever got painted in a decent time frame. So the more videos and streams I do, the more hobbying gets done. Kinda. Although honestly, looking back, nothing's really changed. Okay, I do paint a little bit faster than I used to, but content creation has been a lot of fun these past three years. So thank you everyone for sticking around if you've been here since the beginning. And if you haven't been here since the beginning, you should totally subscribe because I eventually do want to hit the funny Warhammer number and also the funny numbers. But yeah, those are the other hobbies I enjoy that aren't Warhammer. As always, thank you once again for watching this video, and don't forget if you want to support the channel, simply leaving a comment below about your other hobbies besides Warhammer, along with hitting the like and subscribe button, helps more than you think. But becoming a channel member also helps too, since it allows me to make a bullshit excuses to my parents about why I bought another model train. Anyways, I have to go make more terrible financial decisions, so I will see you on the next video, and remember, being poor is a choice.